Hello guys, welcome back to Funny Soft Tech. Now we are going to learn about how to use the primary key components. Okay, so we have a uh, our site body, right? So instead of body, we are creating one home. Inside the home, we are creating one login form. Just okay by using uh, primary key components. Okay, yep. Go ahead and uh, create one login form now. Okay, open your project. So in previous session, we are uh, using CSS and uh, CSS Prime NG icon. Sorry, so here is under the script section. I am using here not this is not correct. Sorry for this, I just confusing CSS files. Right, CSS should be under the CSS session, okay. Under the CSS section, control V, okay. That's good, okay. Close the JSON file. Okay, you can close uh, all the things. Okay, fine. So go to terminal, new terminal. Okay, uh, um, now we need to create one component, home component, right? Yep, how to create ng generate component, component name is home component. Hit the enter. So we have uh, one more concept is there for the important concept like uh, routing also. Yep. Once complete of completing this form, then we will go go to see the route. Okay. okay four component generated one component is going to be updated okay fine now open the home component home home dot component dot css home component dot html okay this is the home component right uh, for understanding purpose just i am appending this into our body okay uh, go to ts file component.ts sorry this is the spec unit testing file ts file go to ts file copy the selector name it should not be app home guys it's up to you okay by default it is showing like app home so where we need uh, app component.html right so if you want you can paste it here okay save it and run the project ng serve hit the enter okay let it be and I need to use uh, components right yep home component html okay home component.html here i want to use uh, prime ng components div i'm taking one div uh, div class container sorry container simply and one h1 tag i am using or h2 tag login simple boxing okay, okay simply then i need to use login form now div inside this div i want to use login form okay yep label value equals to username save it oh, it's not it started it okay that should be okay no problem 
okay label now i need one text box correct huh? one text box okay go to prime ng prime ng input uh, so input text input text here okay select that input text okay there are uh, multiple types of inputs are there if you want to use basic or if you want with uh, uh, this this type you can use this one okay so float label right i am using float label I'll, or basic no problem i am using basic before that i need to import module input text module from prime ng input text okay where app component dot sorry app modules file okay so you just copy this one control c first immediately our parent module is there app 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 module dot ts file okay this is a root module so first we need to import here control v okay copy this module control c is here see guys so um the import whatever we are importing this one this is in the okay which state disabled state correct because if it's not using it that's what it is in disabled state if you find this type of things we just remove those uh, importings okay so i copy the text module modules where import section right under the import array comma control v okay save it see now it is in enable state that's it so now i can use that input text mod input text box here okay go to here this is the code copy and paste it here control v okay so here by here we are using one id id equals to um username u name u name same thing i'm going to be giving as a for for attribute for equals to whatever we are giving here id you can paste it here okay because the, these two are one uh, one combination like like that uh, it's recognized okay okay it's compiling it's compiling we have to see the output okay compile successfully now see the output okay some error we got some error okay let me check click the f12 button template parse error only void and foreign elements can be self closed label label value so okay self closed label app module home components syntax error okay save it i think label doesn't have any value i guess like that we are giving now <coughs> compile successfully okay okay login and we got a username and on text box okay so okay you not able to find this one right um okay then what you have to do means you just give the that floating uh, text box okay then only you can understand whether the prime ng is applying or not correct right so go to floating text box input text okay 
input text okay float label right so you can use that one floating float label this is the float label just to copy this one control C instead of these two you can give control V if I float label this is the class from prime ng input type float input text is that T input text and label okay username uh, okay yeah fine control s okay see the output okay see it's applying right username so same thing we need to use password also so password field i need password field right yep password this is the password okay so if you use password what you have to do you you have to import this you should import this uh, password module first inside where app module start ts file okay control v then copy the module name control c and put it into under the import section control v okay password module is ready to use now go on the copy that password code okay input type password control c control v and we need one label for this label password or uh, shall i use this one same thing okay let me try control v span inside the span put id float input type equal to text p password right copy this one Control V float input okay type equal to password and P password instead of P text you can give P password uh, then label right you can copy then label and paste it into here not sure whether it is working or not let me try password sorry password okay to less okay it's very speed wow nice password is applying Nice, right okay you can remove this one and put it into one div div and one more div Control V. Okay, username and password. I think it should over it. Okay, no problem, guys. It's just checking only, right? I just showing the prime ng component. That's it. Okay. Uh, yep. 
so home box i want to remove this one so what about next one i need one button login button login button and uh, okay login button itself enough i'm not using any business logic for this form okay i'm just to see i mean showing the how to use the components okay this is the input so here the buttons are there go to button so login button i want to use success this button okay green color severity buttons okay severity button success button so before that i need to import this button module control c go to app module.ts control v copy the button module and uh, paste it into under the import session okay so go to that button severity buttons right severity severity buttons yes so these are the classes severity buttons classes okay so what you have to do means so anything you have to use these two types of things so you just copy that one button and paste it into here one more div this do for the button Sorry. div okay so here you can paste that button control v button label is a clay instead of click we are using login and the style class is the success right yep here there is there are a lot of style classes are there we need success type of button control c uh instead of this one control v so remove the dot this is the success button control s and see the output okay login button simply one login button is i mean so this is the body actually correct right this is the body um so now i okay these are the how to use the components in uh, in our application guys so now uh, now next section what we have to do means instead of this appending the selector like this app component dot uh, html right app component dot html what we have to use i mean what we have to do before we are using uh, app home here but instead of this we need to do some routing it means links concept okay so in next session we will see about what is this router outlet and uh, how to you we route that uh, our navigation to one page to another page like that we have to see okay okay uh, so yep thank you for watching we'll get back to you in next session thank you guys